I came here to meet with uh, Mr. Talibani and Mr. Brazani, who over the last, past 12 years have established a model in both leadership and freedom. Uh, this is a wonderful model, and it's a wonderful area up here. You can see it in the, in the faces and in the attitudes of the people. And what we wish is to take this type of experience and spread it through all of Iraq. Having seen southern Iraq and Baghdad to come here today has been for me a very important experience. It shows to me, it proves to me what the Iraqi people are capable of doing. And there is no reason why what we see in this part of Iraq today should not be the same in all Iraq in the months and years to come. And I congratulate these two great leaders for all that they have achieved here over these last 12 years. وما زور زور سباسي أمريكا وبريطانيا كين بوأو يارمتي جلي عراق يندا بو يرزقاري ببيل الرجيم الدكتاتوري. And I'd like also to thank the United States government and the UK government for helping the Iraqi people to achieve their liberation. To leave their places. I think I think the message there is the only ethnic cleansing. No, no, this is not our dream. This is accusation of our enemy to us. Our dream is to have to live within the framework of a democratic Iraq uh, based on the he, de democracy, parliamentarism, human rights, federation, and the equal human, uh, equal citizenship rights for everyone. People without law to leave their places. Yeah. I, think, I think the message there is the only Our desire is that the new government of Iraq represents all Iraqi people, Kurdish people, Shiite, Shia, Turkmen, Assyrian, Chaldean, all people. It would be a mosaic of the cultures, the religions, the ethnicity of Iraq. It's, it's the mark of democracy to have many opinions. Hey, thanks, folks. We'll catch you at the next event. Uh -huh. Thank you.